Welcome again. In this video, I will show how you can create packaging box D lines, bleed guides, and cut lines in Adobe Illustrator. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates from my channel. First of all, select the rectangle tool. Just click once as you can see a new pop-up window is opened. So put the width 3.15 and height 5.32 inches. Now select the back panel and by holding Alt key drag this rectangle to the right as we can create duplicate this rectangle. The smart guide will help you to adjust your rectangle. Now choose the transform tool and change the width of this left panel by putting the value of 1.75 inches. Now select both of these panels, and by holding Alt key on window drag this and release here. So we have drawn our main panels. Now we will add our top and bottom enclosure panels. So choose the rectangle tool and set the width the same but change the height 1.75 inches and adjust your panels. Now we will add dust flaps with height 1.2 inches and the same width as of left panel. Now by holding Alt key drag, this dust flaps and adjust them. Now select this flap and by holding Alt key drag to the bottom. Now select these dust flaps and move to the bottom. Again select the rectangle tool and change the width to 3.15 and height to be 0.65 inches. Move this rectangle here. Create a copy of it by holding the ALT key. Now select the direct selection tool and select this top rectangle. Click on this circle and move to it inside. By holding the ALT key and move this to the bottom. By holding right click on it and select the transform option. Choose the reflect option and select the horizontal option and adjust it. Now select this flap and click on this edge. By holding the shift key, click the left arrow key twice. Similarly, repeat this procedure for all four flaps. Select this rectangle and go to the edit option. Copy it and paste it in front. Now change the width to 0.65 inches.
Now adjust it. Select this corner, and by holding the shift key, click the down arrow key twice. Now we will add a bleed guide of 0.25 inches. To add a bleed guide, select the guidelines, and copy it. Now create a new layer. Lock the bottom layer and paste it in front. Now hide the second layer and unlock the first layer. Again select all guidelines. Now select this shape mode from the Pathfinder tool. Go to the object menu and choose the offset path. Give the offset value of 0.125 inch. Now unhide the second layer here. You can see that we have created the bleed guides. Now we will add cut lines. Lock the first layer and make sure that the second layer is selected. Select all the guidelines. Go to the Pathfinder tool and select the outline mode. Now change the color. Make sure that the outline is selected, not the fill color. Click here and select these options. Now click on the direct selection tool and select the inside panels one by one by holding the shift key. Now change the outline color to red. Now go to the window menu and choose stroke options. Select the dashed line and change the weight. So, we have created the D lines, bleed guides, and cut lines for our packaging box. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment box. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.